line. Hey, over there, Joe Lunchbox. Enjoy the night ago. And today, we have landed right here in Waterbury, Vermont. Now, it's gonna be a really sweet video we're making today. I hope I'm not laying the cream on too thick. All right, all right enough puns, enough cheesy jokes. Uh, <laughs> just so you know, today, we are right here at Ben and Jerry's. We're at the factory. We're gonna go in, take a factory tour, eat some ice cream, yum, yum, yum. see what else there is to see here. And have a good, sweet day. Oh. Yeah, so step right up. Let's go for this ride. <laughs> It looks like a lot of people had the same idea we had coming to Ben & Jerry's on this wonderful summer day. It's under a little construction, a little refurb, you might say. Skiing cows, that's just crazy. I love how magical it is in here. I like it. Get to the point, North Pole, some cows, euphoria. A Belize river. I want that mailbox. Get it? It's for snail mail. Greetings from Ben and Jerry's. Look at it in here. So cool. For your head. Love comes in all flavors. And look, sweet swag over there, Joy. Oh, you know, we always check out a gift shop. All the sweet swag. Ooh, cows on the ceiling. Trippy man, psychedelic. My mom already has this t-shirt. Joy's contemplating this one, or there's a factory tour one. Or this one. This one's coming home with me. Visiting some of my old friends. I like this. Where in the world are we? All the spots you can get your Ben and Jerry's ice cream at. The being shipped all around the world, it looks like. All set for our tour. Got our tickets. Mom, have you heard? To do the tour, we have to follow the herd. Yes, I did hear that. Okay. What we need is some more cowbell. I'm not allowed to show that. We can film the tour, but not through the glass the way they actually do with ice cream. Okay. There it is, the tour. Joy, you ready to learn how Ben and Jerry's ice cream is made? Yeah, I know where it ends. It's in my tummy. Oh, I know where it ends. <laughs> We're seeing where it all begins and where it all ends in one day. We saw how ice cream is made, now we're gonna go try some. I'm curious, I'm a little too full for anything else. Oh, yeah. That's a true story, you get three pints of ice cream. So welcome to the Flavor Room. This is a really historic room here in Ben & Jerry's history. Between it was built in 2011 as a small kitchen. prototype for the Japanese market because they didn't really like some of the flavors that we had out, out over in Japan. So we created a small so test long, kitchen to test and try out any ice cream that would be very popular in Japan. Turns out that cherry, yeah, cherry blossom ice cream and green tea ice cream are very popular. But here we use it for a flavor fanatic experience. So if you ever want to make some ice cream here at Ben & Jerry's, you do the tour, like you guys are doing right now. You go over and make some ice cream like maple walnut, wear a tie-dye lab coat, and you get a diploma saying you made ice cream. It's really fun. Some people did it the other day and they had a blast. <laughs> Um, and we also use it to create Waterbury exclusives, like the one you're going to have today. Broccoli cheddar chunk. It's broccoli ice cream with kidney bean chunks and a cheddar cheese swirl. Everybody looks so terrified right now. <laughs> like, I, you guys are like eternally freaking out. I totally get it. And don't worry, we ran out of this two years ago on April 1st. This past year we had pickleback ice cream with pickled ice cream with a bourbon caramel swirl. The aftertaste was interesting, not going to lie. But today you guys are gonna have chocolate chip cookie dough. It's vanilla ice cream with gobs of chocolate chip cookie dough. Really hard job to do. Sorry, Joy, I know you wanted to try the broccoli ice cream. I appreciate the other point of action before you get your sample of ice cream. Legend has it that the more you laugh at my cow jokes, which I'm contractually obligated to give you because I work at Ben and Jerry's, the bigger your samples are and the higher my self esteem goes. <laughs> Have about anything I mentioned on so the sample report, about the company in general. Oh, like she was emotionally attached to this. Or if you just want to wear a lot more couch. 
Over here, Len. It's so good. It is a classic flavor, but getting them freshly made, it's so much creamier and milky flavoring. You guys enjoying the ice cream? And I, and I can't wait to taste this mine. Is actually but number one Joy just <laughs> It was an anonymous fan suggestion, actually, and because they didn't put their name on the paper, they do not get free ice cream for life. However, the person who created Cherry Garcia or suggested Cherry Garcia gets free ice cream for life. But I have at the very end. Who can guess the number one best-selling flavor in 2018 in the U.S.? Hmm. Yeah. New stuff. These are the new things out for 2019. We have some there. Mufori, the low-fat ice creams. Some of the new ones, we have some new cookie dough core ones and cookie dough bites, even vegan ones, and some new little pint slices. Ooh, I haven't tried that amazement. I've tried it. You know, I like my Ben and Jerry's, it's, but it seems like you like it a little more than I do today. We're going to check out the top 10 flavors of 2018, starting from number one. Number one bestseller of 2018 was Half Baked. Number two, Cherry Garcia. Number three, Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough. Number four, Chocolate Fudge Brownie. Number five, The Tonight Dough. Number six, Fish Food. Seven, American Dream. Ooh, eight, strawberry cheesecake. Nine, chunky monkey. And 10, peanut butter cup. This shirt is awesome, mood magic. You see if you get a flat tire, then you, you get in a crunch. You won the lottery. Happily ever after. The tube wasn't toothpaste. Oh, last straw. Got them, you need some chocolate therapy. That is a cute shirt. Yeah, some shirts from around the world. We have one from Amsterdam. I like this one. Yeah, I would get that shirt from Key West, but to New York City, home sweet home. Yeah, they are all about social action, which is one of my favorite things about Ben & Jerry's. Just think, Joy, it's one of the first companies that offered equal benefits for any couple, be it a heterosexual, be it a homosexual, any couple, benefits for their, all their spouses. I like things like that, that care about the environment or their local community with stuff like free cone days, giving back to the people one day a year that help make them happy. Jump in. As can be seen, a vintage throwback Ben & Jerry's t-shirt. Yeah. I got this one because I love Cherry Garcia and the Grateful Dead. <laughs> and if you see, what a long strange dip it's been instead of what a long strange trip it's been. Wow. Another souvenir penny? By the time I'm done collecting these, I'm gonna have like $100 worth of pennies. Do we make wind chimes? I'm contemplating kind of wind chime or just getting like a shadow box with the cushion. Ooh. This one's a new one for the flesh. Yay! Do you see it? We have a peace sign, a heart, and ice cream. They love each other. They love each other. <laughs> I just want to warn you all at home. I might, I might get emotional. We're about to go up the hill to the flavor graveyard. Oh, this part's always hard for me. There it is, Joy. I promised I wasn't going to cry. I'm going to try to hold it together. We have fossil fuel. Wavy gravy. No, no, don't, don't worry, folks. This isn't the, the Grateful Dead fan, Wavy Gravy. He still lives in California. This is the ice cream flavor. This one, you were there. When I was in eighth grade and I messed up my, my my singing solo, you were there for me. Now you're gone. Coffee of core ice cream with all that goodness from Monty Python's. You weren't around longer though. Oh, the wish! I wish you were back again. Sweaty balls for one season. 
You were sweaty. <sighs> just one, just one season, one season pina colada. You tasted like paradise in my mouth. Neapolitan dynamite, Cherry Garcia and Choco Fudge Brownie, side by side. Just look at all, all my friends that have left me too soon. Joy, why aren't you crying? You're just cold, cold from eating all that ice cream. Sweet potato pie ice cream, no one could appreciate it, so we just let it die. Oh, Rainforest Crunch. You were one of my first. I won't let anyone know. You will go down pure in my heart. This is nuts. We know what's nuts is how many flavors have died over these years. Tennessee mud. This bottle is empty. Mud with Jack Daniels was not meant to last. Oh, but I wish it did. Oh, and I had amaretto. Oh, I really wish it did. White Russian, you were one of my mom's favorites. So creamy, with that little bit of bite. Oh. Coconut almond fudge chip. You were gone, you were back. You were gone, you were back. And now you're gone again. Why, why did you have to leave me? Why? So remember folks, if you do come here, make sure you do visit their dearly depinted. <laughs> When we were talking about how they're uh, social conscious and environmental conscious, look at all these solar power panels to work their factory. Look at all that ingredients right there. Two milks, two creams, and a lot, a lot of sugar. Makes that Ben and Jerry's delicious. One sweet world. Yes, world. World together, they add in that little bit of air to make it oh so creamy. There's even fun activities for the kids here. For the youths! You could, you could do little drawings. Or well, the one I would do. Self tie dye t shirt. Oh, nice. I like it because you literally get a Ben and Jerry's plain shirt and then you can tie dye it how you want. Oh, I See, tied it, I tied it. I... <laughs> That's pretty cute. Yeah. Look, they even care for their furry friends. There's a little water dish on the floor here. For the dogs. It's all about the dogs. Joy, can we make this our new tour van for the sideshow? People might get really confused going, do you guys have ice cream too? We're Why? Like, no, just sideshow. But we would we would attract a big crowd because everyone does love ice cream and everyone loves everyone loves Ben's and Jerry's. Yeah. I am happy that Two kids from Merrick, Long Island in the 70s decided, what do we do for a living? And they went to ice cream making school at, where was it? Was it the University of Pittsburgh? I thought it was. Yeah, University of Pittsburgh for $5. They split tuition and they started this company. So I'm glad we got here. I'm glad we took a tour. No, no. I'm glad I had some samples. <laughs> which is, I always like the sampling part. Of any good food tour, they have to have a good sample. Of course. Yeah. So, for now, Ben and Jerry's factory tour here in Waterbury, Vermont. Been, Been there, done that. that. Remember, folks, safe travels, good, good eats, eats, and, and live, live life. life. And we're back. Wait, what? Oh, I'll tell you, it's not for that cool hummingbird oh, that is behind us. No, no. We're now in Burlington, Vermont. It's about a 25, 30, 35 mile drive west of Waterbury, where Ben & Jerry's factory is, to show you ah. this, this empty parking lot. Yes, actually we are here to show you this empty parking lot. Huh. But for a very important reason, because in this site, they even have a plaque here. Site of an old gas station. We're on May 5th, 1978. This was the home of the very first Ben & Jerry shop. We figured. If we're gonna talk about Ben and Jerry's, we should show you where it all began. And it was right here. Could you imagine, Joy, coming up, hard day of work, and going right here, getting some ice cream, walk down that road, look at Lake Champlain. It would be a nice day, I must say. It would be nice. We're glad the city memorized you with this little plaque in the ground. Oh. Come on. 
Spider-Man has to leave me. Whoa!